The story begins with a man showing a jungle. A man was trying to get out of the jungle like a mad man. The jungle was so dense that there was no way to get out of it. This man kept moving forward while looking at the sun. But now the sun had also set. But he didn't stop running. While running, he came to a point where he found a point of no return written on the skeleton of a ferry. That is, no one can go back from here. Looking at this boat, the trouble was clearly visible on his face. The darkness deepens and suddenly all the birds fly away from here. There was no place to hide. This man was very scared, so he climbed a tree. Unfortunately, he fell from such a high tree. Before he fainted, we see that someone pulled him. Who was pulling? It was not shown. But we heard the painful screams of this man. The scene ends and we are shown a girl named Mina in the city after six days. Mina had no friends or family except her sister. At this time, the pet store. She was working at. Her boss orders her to leave a parrot at the zoo. Mina picks up this parrot and takes it home because she had to go to the zoo the next day. She spent the night with this parrot. And then in the morning, she left for the zoo with this parrot. While walking on a long road, she suddenly took a wrong turn. And she reached the middle of the jungle. This was the same jungle where we have seen a man disappear before. Earlier, she used her car to go inside the jungle. But when she did not know how to get out of here, she had to get out of the car. She thought that maybe there would be someone here to ask for help. She takes her parrot and starts moving forward. The darkness was also getting deeper. Suddenly, like before, all the birds fly away from these trees. Mina was now scared because the ground was also shaking. She felt like she was close to someone. A bad woman was running away from her. Mina followed her while running. She was asking for help. But the woman does not stop. She keeps running. When Mina got tired of following her, she stopped there. When she stopped, the old woman called out to her and said, If you want to stay alive, then run fast and come to us. As soon as she heard this, Mina ran back to the old woman. And the old woman held her hand and took her to a house. As soon as she came home, she locked this house. This was not a house, but a very strange cloth, on which there was a very big mirror. There were two other people here with this old woman. Mina, being scared, asks them, What is this place? These people do not answer and tell her to stand in front of the mirror. Because someone was going to come to see them. Mina asks, who is coming to see? Then the old woman replies, we are coming to see the watchers. Suddenly, strange noises also started to be heard. Here, this old woman said, the watchers are happy to see you. They are clapping for you. Here, Mina was very confused. The watchers that Madeline was talking about, neither have they been shown in the movie yet nor did Mina or anyone else see them. Anyway, the night passes. In the morning, these people come out of this place. Madeline says that these watchers only come out at night. During the day, we can roam freely in the jungle. Mina did not want to stay in this jungle. She goes ahead to get out of here. Madeline says, this is not a good decision for you. There is no way out of this jungle. We have to come back to this house before nightfall. If you are late, you will lose your life. Mina does not listen to anyone and keeps moving forward. For her parrot. As she moved forward, she also saw the same sign. Point of no return. She was scared to see them. But just like the previous girl, she looked at the sun and kept moving in the direction of the sun. 
but she could not succeed in getting out of the jungle. Suddenly, she felt a tremor under the ground. She got scared and ran back to the same house. She had lost. Madeline encourages her and says that you are not the only one who tried to get out of here and lost. We have also lost like you and stopped here. There is no way out of here. This jungle brings souls to its side and then shows strange things to humans. It can also drive you crazy. So if you want to stay alive, stay with us. This jungle is a hunter and we are all its prey. Madeline shows her a lot of signboards with a point of no return, which were placed in a round circle in the jungle. Madeline says that they are half a day away from our house. If you go ahead of this, it will be difficult to return. So whenever you see them, don't ignore them. Mina asks who made all this. So, she replies that it was made by a professor. At night, these people come back to that house. Every night, the watchers used to come to see them. Today, a girl named Kira dances in front of them, and she says that she likes all this. It was not that these four had to stand in front of the watchers every night. These people could do whatever they wanted, but they could not bow to them. At night, they only had a problem with the watchers. But even during the day, they had to face a lot of difficulties. They used to hunt something from the jungle every day, with which they used to survive. The next day, Kira and Mina go to collect food in the jungle. Mina asks Kira, what do these watchers want? Kira replies that she does not know. But Madeline has a theory. According to her, these watchers see us. They observe us. But if we see these watchers, we will go crazy. Kira now shows her a cave and says that there are many such caves in the jungle. During the day, all these watchers live in these caves. And at night, they come out of here. Mina tells Kira that they have been stuck here for six months. Kira's husband has gone to look for a way in the jungle. He hopes that he will definitely find a way and come back. And they will be able to get out of here. We know that Kira's husband was the same man whom we saw at the start of the movie, whom someone took from here. Upon returning home, Madeline explains three rules to Mina to stay alive here. First, she will not open the door of her house at night. Second, she will not turn her back to the mirror at night. And third, she will not go near those potholes during the day, and she will stay in the light as much as possible. Now this night, Mina wanted to know about those watchers. That's why she tries to listen to the voices with the mirror. When she can't hear anything, she turns her back to the mirror. And by doing this, those watchers get angry. They start hitting that mirror hard. In fact, there is also a crack in the mirror. Madeline also gets up from the noise. And she tells Mina to stand towards the mirror. By doing this, her anger could have cooled down. Anyway, this night also ends. And the next day, Mina goes on a hunt with Daniel. Because Mina didn't want to waste her good days here. That's why she was preparing to leave here. She asks Daniel, have you ever seen a watcher? Daniel doesn't answer us. Then Mina explains to Daniel, I think these are Madeline's made up stories in which she is trapping us. We should definitely go and check these potholes. Maybe we can find a way to get out of here. Daniel, who himself wanted to get out of here, doesn't listen to her. And now Mina ties a rope with her and gets into that pothole. Daniel was holding the other end of the rope. That if anything happens to Mina, he quickly pulls Mina out. Mina reaches the pothole where she finds a lot of people's stuff. Mina collects this stuff 
It must be the stuff of people trapped in the jungle. With the help of rope, Mina and Daniel bring that stuff out. And before Mina comes out of that pothole, she sees someone's fingers in the pothole. She couldn't see what it was, but she got scared. They came to their safe house with all that stuff. Where Madeline asked her, where did you get this stuff? They lie that they got this stuff from the jungle. Madeline had spent a lot of time living in this jungle. She wanted her to get this stuff from the pothole, not the jungle. She keeps asking Mina, tell me what did you see in the pothole? But Mina doesn't tell her anything. Now, these people also got a camera from the pothole. This camera is made into a CCTV camera. Daniel and Mina put it outside the house so that these people can also see the watches. Madeline keeps explaining to them that you are doing wrong. But these two don't listen to her. Today these people were sitting waiting for the watches so that they can see them. The watchers hadn't come yet. But today something strange happens to them. Their door is knocked. These people see the cameras. So there they were seeing human legs. Whoever was outside was talking in the voice of Kira's husband. Kira thought that her husband must have found a way to get out of here. She quickly got up and went to open the door. But Madeline stops her and says that you can't open this door. I know that your husband is not outside. Kira didn't believe Madeline's words. So Madeline says that you take her test. You ask her something that only you or your husband know about. Kira asks a book from a person standing outside about which she should have known. But when the person standing outside doesn't answer, then they understand that this is the watcher. When they don't open the door, the watcher breaks the camera outside. All the watchers were angry now. He was going to break the mirror outside their house. But all these people stand in front of the mirror. After doing this to them, the watchers stopped breaking the mirror. And they didn't come to kill them. A lot of bad things happened to them at night. That's why Daniel and Mina decided to tell Madeline the truth that they went to the well. And because of this, she gets very angry that she broke a rule. Madeline picks up all the stuff from the well and throws it back in the same well. And now, Mina was going to stay here unwillingly. Time passed. The weather also changed. Winter had come. But these people were still stuck here. Mina used to go in search of the way out of here every day. But she couldn't find any way. She had made a map. She was sure that she would complete this map someday. Because of the cold, she couldn't get food. And because of not getting food, her mental condition was getting worse. And in all this, Madeline and Daniel had a fight. At that time, along with Madeline, he left Mina outside and locked Kira in the safe house. It was going to be dark. Madeline and Mina knock on the door a lot. They beg Daniel to open the door. But he doesn't open the door. Then it got dark, and they had to stand under a thick tree to save their lives. Now, they could hear the voices of the watchers. At this time, we also show a glimpse of these watchers. To the audience along with Mina and Madeline. These people were long, thin and dangerous. They leave their houses and reach this safe room to see all these people. And when they see that Mina and Madeline are not there, they start looking for them in the jungle to eat them. And as soon as they get away from these creatures, Mina and Madeline get a chance to come back to their safe house. This time, they knock on the door loudly. And finally, Daniel opens the door for them. These people were scared because these people had now seen those creatures. Madeline comes to all of them and says, I lied to you that I got stuck here. Actually, 
I came here in search of these creatures, because I had read in the books that all these creatures are fairies. But when I came here and saw them, I found out that they are monsters. And along with that, they can also change their appearance. The one I saw, he had made his appearance exactly like me. Only his hair was a little messy and there were holes under his eyes. I guessed from their behavior that they learn something every day to become like us. That's why they come and observe us every day. And they start doing the same thing that we do. During these conversations, they knock on the door. Again, these creatures were now talking like them. They wanted to come inside, but they couldn't open the door. Even if they hadn't opened the door, what would have happened? Their creatures were so strong that they could break the iron door and come inside. These people also had to hide. Everyone didn't understand anything. But suddenly, Daniel's eyes fell on the floor. The floor was a little up and down here. As it looks like a carpet, there was a bunker below. These people, without wasting time, open the door of the bunker and go inside. And then close the bunker. These people were surprised that this bunker was here for so long. And these people didn't even know that. There were many facilities under this bunker. Thousands of days of food, a lot of TV, technology, and a lot of other necessities. Mina wanted to know who made this place. That's why she turns on this computer. There was no internet in this computer, but a lot of data was saved. When they open it, they find out that Dr. Martin had made all this place. Actually, the professor knew about his creatures. He wanted to do research on his creatures. That's why he made this bunker. He used to live in this bunker. He used to bribe money and bring other people here. And at night, he used to leave them upstairs in the rooms and come and hide in this bunker. And those monsters were eaten by those people. During his research, Dr. Martin says that these creatures were not monsters. In fact, they were fairies. They used to live with humans. But then humans betrayed them. They trapped them in the jungle and left. And because they lived underground for many years, their magic and their powers went away. Dr. Martin says that during his research, he found a unique fairy. She could come out of those holes in the light. She was good. She didn't kill Dr. Martin. Dr. Martin brought her here. She learned everything by staying with Fairy Martin. But after a while, there was a fight between them. There were many videos in this computer. And in every video, Dr. Martin had told something. Mina just wanted to know what happened in the end. That's why she plays the last video, in which she sees that the professor is going to kill himself and that fairy. He was injured. Daniel goes ahead to help him. The rest of them were sitting in their boat. Before Daniel comes back, they see that Daniel, whom they have come to help, is not a human but a fairy who has taken the form of Daniel in front of their eyes. These people couldn't do anything for Daniel. That fairy had killed him by making a mark on Daniel's forehead. They know that the fairies can't cross this river. And finally, they themselves cross this river and reach the city. The scene is cut and shown to us that now, according to Dr. Martin, Mina has come to finish all her data at her university. And before she deletes all her research data, she finds out a new thing. When humans and fairies lived together thousands of years ago, they used to get married. Such humans and fairies also had children, who are called hybrids. She also finds out that Madeline, who met her there, was no one else but the professor's wife. 
she gets confused that why didn't Madeline tell her this? To share all this confusion, she comes to Kira. And she tells her that the Madeline we met in the jungle was actually Professor Martin's wife. But she didn't tell us the truth. Because she was not a human, but a fairy disguised as a buffalo. Kira is shocked to hear this. Actually, many years ago, Professor's wife Madeline died of lung cancer. The professor loved her very much. He wanted to stay with her. And then the professor found out about these disguised fairies. By showing his wife's photo, he made that fairy look like Madeline. Now that Mina was telling all this, she suddenly found out that she was not telling all this to Kira, but to Madeline, who had changed Kira's face at this time. As soon as the real Kira comes here, Madeline makes her unconscious. After that, she immediately goes to attack Mina, so that her secret remains a secret. Before she kills Mina, she tells her, I was alone, which was the most different in the jungle. All the fairies there used to make fun of me. I could go out during the day. In this anger, they threw me out of there. Then Mina says to him, you were not alone, you were very special. Actually, you are a hybrid, half human and half fairy. That's why you can live with fairies and also with humans. And that's why you came out of that jungle. As soon as Mina tells all the truth, suddenly Madeline gets her legs and her magic back. After that, she leaves Mina here and flies away from here. Now, the story is shown a few weeks later, where Mina has gone to her sister. After all the jungle and fairy incidents, she was very scared. And now she wanted to stay with her sister. She told her sister that I think that fairy is still following me. Then Mina's sister tells her, you don't be afraid, nothing will happen. And in the last scene of the story, we are shown a girl who was still under Mina's house. She is no one else but that fairy Madeline who is living in her world as a girl. And this story ends here.